This $8,800 giant lobster was about to be dismembered. But suddenly, the chef noticed an unknown fluid a-wouncing from beneath the lobster's body. The chef flipped the lobster over for a closer look. Suddenly, it was the first time in his 20-year career in seafood business that he felt humiliated by a lobster. He instructed his assistant to throw the lobster into the grinder, and his assistant was inadvertently sprayed all over in the process. At this point, the chef, now splattered with the lobster's mucus, began to feel dizzy. His hands were shaking so much that he couldn't even plate the food. He left the kitchen, pale as a ghost, to get some air, but he collapsed after only a few steps, and an unidentified fluid started flowing from his mouth. Eventually, he was found and rushed to an isolation ward. By this time, he had completely lost consciousness. After three days in the hospital, he suddenly started to convulse violently, and the chef died. The female assistant, who was responsible for grinding the lobster's body, was also found dead in her apartment. Upon investigation by medical experts, a new type of parasite was discovered within the lobster's remains. These parasites, all white, are incredibly resilient, reproduce extremely fast, can survive in extreme conditions, and are transmittable through saliva. Afterward, from the restaurant's kitchen to the dining patrons, then to the entire city's population, the parasites spread exponentially, threatening the very existence of the human world. Meanwhile, deep under the sea, the lobsters are commemorating their hero,